Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you another proto protocol available in the application layer and the name of the protocol is file transfer protocol. It is FTP, file transfer protocol. So this protocol is mainly used to send or as the name indicates transfers, transfer a file over the internet. Now to transfer a file that is a, from the client side to the server side, this protocol makes use of the port number port number 21 and 20. If you compare with the previous uh, protocol HTTP, there also you have a method wherein you can post a, put a file. The, there is a method, no put means you are going to put a document onto the server. And what is the difference? Why FTP is there again? So HTTP can be mainly used for files having a smaller size, whereas for larger files, you can make use of the FTP protocol, file transfer protocol. So how to first establish a connection with the server? There are various methods the first one in the address bar you can always type ftp colon okay double forward slash then you can write down what the whatever uh, ip address of the server so it will make what it will get uh, it you will get connected to the server so you have various methods as i said the first one can be you can simply type like this and you have another method at the dollar prompt itself you can type what the command ftp followed by followed by the host name or the server name and you can start doing the transfer of the files so once you say the word transfer actually file transfer means these three things which are those things either you can retrieve a file either you can store a file or you can list the directory directory listing means you want the server to show the complete files that are available in its directory so these are the three different operations that are possible in file transfer. To understand the functionality of the FTP, let me give you an illustration. This is the host that is the sorry, this is the client and this is the server. So normally till now you have seen that even in the previous HTTP protocol, there is one connection that is established from the client to the server. I mean to say there is one port number available for the uh, client to what send its request it is always making use of one port number only in http it is making use of what the port number 80 but in this case there are two port numbers ftp provides a separate port number for control commands and a separate port number for the data commands both are separated here that's the reason you have to remember to for the control connection so there is what a separate connection called as the control connection you have the port number 21 and for the data connection, you have the port number 20. Fine. So, these two are the port numbers at the server side. Whenever a client wants to make a request in the source port number, it will definitely make use of its uh, what uh, randomly generated port number, which is dynamic. Simply, I will just take one number. So, this will be the source port number and this will be the destination port number. Whenever it is making a data connection with the server, then it will have its source port number randomly generated which comes and from the category which one, the dynamic port number and it will make use of this well known port number 20 at the, uh, at the server side. So this is how you have to remember one important difference here, there are two different port numbers that can be used to have a connection with the FTP. And Moreover, the control connection is basically used for control commands and the data connection is basically used to only to what exchange the data. Now, if you see the different control commands and the data commands, now between the client and the server, control commands are used as well as the data commands are used. You can see here, retrieving a file is what? Taking a file from the server. Storing a file, you are sending, the client is sending a file. And directory listing, it is from once again from the server to the client. So, these things uh, comes under what? But to carry out this functionality, you have to first send some control commands. For example, I have just given here one or two examples for the control commands. RTER is used to retrieve. So, it is, a, it is an argument to this command. First type the command and then followed by the name of the file which you want to retrieve. If you want to delete a file, first type the command followed by the. This is just one or two examples I have mentioned. There is a list available. Go through all those commands that are there. Okay. And the responses are always in the form of what three digit numbers. One or two examples I have shown here when the client is typing the username and the password, then the response if it comes like 230, it means user login is okay. 
if the client is if the response is coming from the server as 220 it is ready for the service so service ready is the description for that particular response so here also you have a list of responses just go through all those responses basically you should always uh, in any of the application layer protocol it is what the request and the response fine the request and the response so in the request you are sending the using the commands and in the response you are getting all the responses and whatever request you have made for the file the file will be uh, sent to the client so here in the ftp the client before transferring the file should also specify the type of the file the data structure the transmission mode first in order to send this data the control using the control commands the connection is established then to send the data that is over the data connection the these attributes should also get specified by the client what is the type of the file it's a, it is basically what it supports ascii ebc dic type and the image file then it should also specify the type of the data structure here so it can be the file structure record structure and page, uh, page structure file structure basically is not having any structure it is just a stream of bytes record structure is basically used for the text files the file is transferred in terms of records page structure the file is divided into pages with the page number for each page and it should also specify the transmission mode the we have the stream mode wherein the files are just what transmitted in the form of bytes a stream of bytes flowing we have the block and the compressed mode also in this the block mode is basically what the file the transmission mode is the file is uh, transferred in terms of blocks and each block will have what each block is having a header also here and the header will always be of three bytes two bytes are meant for the size of the block it indicates the size of the block and one byte is for the descriptor one byte is for the block descriptor so this way the these are the various things that has to get specified by the client before before transferring the file and also this ftp is not a secured protocol and in order to incorporate security into this a ssl layer can be included between between the ftp of the application layer and the tcp and it becomes now ssl ftp so this is what this is a secured protocol all the messages are what are encrypted here so there is no scope for the hacker to get get to know the information that the client is trying to transfer or retrieve from the server so this is all about the ftp protocol hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care